Hey guys, Shirtless Clown back again. I'm here with Josiah. Hey. We're headed to UMBC in uh, Maryland to go, what is the actual name of it? A geometry rig? Uh, it's, we're gonna go to the IRC, the Imaging Research Center with uh, my buddy Mark. Uh, he's gonna take 3D models of us using the photogra gamut, photogrammetry rig. It's basically this giant set of cameras to take fitted pictures. Can it fit my ass in it? Um, we'll see. <laughs> One of the design requirements was it had to fit a cow. <laughs> That's an actual concern that I didn't think about. No, you'll fit. It's huge. Um, <laughs> We're triggered. If you want to know something cool, um, This is Cal, our calibration button. Basically, any camera that's made to be like controlled over a wire works great. Mm -hmm. It's just these aren't like they're not made for what we're using for. So you could go get their research cameras. Um, there's a there's one particular company that makes really nice research cameras. And they're like Ethernet, and you just plug it in, and then they have an open API, and it just works. Mm -hmm. um, these things really only intended you to use USB to like copy files from the SD card down to the computer. So what we're doing here, where we're not even using an SD card, is a little bit strange. Um, and they do all kinds of weird things. Like when you're half pressing the button, it just completely stops talking on USB. So there's nothing I can talk to the camera to tell it what to do at that point. And when I trigger all the cameras, I, I'm using the trigger cable to emulate that. So I give them a half press, I give them 20 milliseconds to warm up, and then I assert the, uh, the fire signal for a little bit. Um, and during that period, I can no longer talk to them. I don't get events from them. So as soon as the, the capture finishes, suddenly a million events start pouring in, and it's, they're all talking on the same buses, so things get saturated, they slow down, it grinds to a halt, and eventually, sometimes, it usually works. Um, I'm actually gonna put it in the box. Okay, in three, two, one. That's it. What your eyes do is really interesting. Subjected to that flash, <laughs> everything goes white and then green. God, I should have smiled. See the cameras didn't quite align right because you're ending up in two shells. Um, but yeah, I'll just use a cow shot and that should fix that. But the face usually turns out pretty well because we have a lot of resolution for your head. That's in some pretty intense detail. See how it's like the same pattern repeated over and over? You yeah. spin it at Those all. are the frames of a film.
two by two grid, so like from here up is a 4K equivalent. And then four of those from here out is 8K uh, pixel count. So we're 50% wider than 8K display. Um, so trying to get content, trying to get things to move smoothly, trying to do 3D on this is difficult. So I can play back 8K video at 30 FPS. So this isn't the best demo in the world, but um, basically we have four IR cameras up there, and they're tracking these retroreflecting balls. So um, as you move around, it reprojects the geometry of all where your head is, so you can like, actually walk around objects. The weird thing is that uh, if you want to like get closer to an object and get more detail, uh, you actually want to stand back. Because if the object in the world space is behind the screen, then walking closer to it will make it get smaller. Even though from your perspective it gets slightly bigger, but the number of pixels go. 